So let's get started. I am going to measure this band to the top of each ear on each side and stretch it out as much as I can comfortably without it being too tight back there. And that's where I'm going to cut. And honestly, it seemed too long when I cut it, but I said, oh well. <laughs> so this is how it looks. And of course, it, it stretches. I put in one of my previous videos about two videos ago what I use exactly. And I got it from Joann's Fabric. So cut the excess lace off. I also have videos on how I do all of this. So again, I'll be in and out. Sorry it's so low in advance. What I'm going to do first is put it on me to make sure that where exactly I want everything cut lays correctly. And let's see. Yep, that's perfect. Cut will be, well, not where I'll cut, where I will sew the band on will be from here on back. So where the net or where the frontal and the net meet, then literally from here to here because this part will be all cut off. With your frontals, you want the hairline of it where the frontal is to be free so that you can just slick the baby hairs down, free part over your ears. You don't want the band to be pulling all the way up here because if it does, your frontal is gonna stop way behind your hairline and you want it to be up in front of your hairline. So if that makes sense, I haven't explained that really in a previous video, so there you go. If you didn't know, this hair came in its natural state and they really inspired me to color it. Um, and it colored beautifully, you guys. Like I didn't have any problems. The curl reverted back immediately. It was just beautiful. The hair is really beautiful. So now you see I got my elastic band on. And you see that I did not sew all the way up to the hairline of the frontal. I sewed halfway on the frontal and halfway on the back part of the neck. So now I'm going to put it on. And then I'm going to get to customizing and cut that baby hair and do all of that stuff. Because that's what makes this so great that's exactly what you want because when you go to cut off anything here you want this to lay at the corner of your hair and of course I'll cut above my ear so that my ear is more comfortable underneath it and even here you see you just want this to be perfect so I think I am crooked So, you want to make sure each side is even. If it is not, you will have one side that kind of forms up, one side that doesn't. So, yes, it is very important to cut right above your ears so your ear lays nice and comfortable on top of that hair. So, I'm going to clip one side and cut just above my ear. And sometimes you may have to go in. You want to cut longer versus shorter. So, you want to cut too little versus cutting too much because if you cut way too far up it's going to look ridiculous so even if you want to cut longer for the first time and then go back in and adjust that's fine so i'm moving on to the other side you see my band lays just behind my ear so that that frontal lays freely so that wherever i lay my baby hairs is where it's going to be sitting So cutting my hairline, I just cut kind of free at first and then I go in and I adjust it to my hairline. Um, my hairline is not straight across so I tend to just cut straight across first and then kind of go in above my eyebrows where I have a different type of hairline. So as you see now is where I'm kind of cutting it 
and making it look like my hair grows. All right, and after you do that, you're good to lay your baby hairs. And one thing specific about the baby hairs that I am laying is they are good for all styles. So if you lay your baby hairs at the exact places I lay mine, you can change your hairstyle any way with your hair, your baby hairs still laying the same way. So this is good as a stylist because if you have a client and I have sometimes have clients who book a sew-in and they book for me just to install it no style and to lay the baby hairs so if I lay their baby hairs exactly like this the same way as I'm gonna style my hair multiple different ways today my client can too so as you see I am disguising everything I need disguised with any type of part after this by laying those baby hairs I am using my baby hair cream. It's available in the link below, which is uh, all the things I use in this video. And I blow dry on cool. And as you see, this is just the baby hairs laid, no styling. And now I'm going to show you a few different styles to do. So let me know what you all think. Let me know which one's your favorite because this is something that a lot of people do with their frontals.